in the name of the father and of the son and of the holy spirit amen the grace of our lord jesus christ and love of god and the communion of the holy spirit be with you all and with your spirit praise the lord praise the lord hallelujah hallelujah my dear sisters and brothers as we are in the 28th sunday in the ordinary time in this fine morning we are around this holy altar to partake in the holy sacrifice of our lord all our intentions we shall offer into the hands of jesus and some of the special intentions of the people also shall be remembered together with us Mr. William, Mr. Mrs. Premi, Mr. Davis, Van Dekki Dekar, Mary Chimba, Regina Linto, Anthony, Lucia, and Elizabeth Therampi, Mr. James, Mrs. Veena, Irene, Jacinda Alolia Yavlalia Lucia Golan Mary James and Agnes Devashish Philomena Kudian Sheila Shanti Manju Matthew Sebastian Manuel Vaz Dinu, Jesse, Louisa Karen, Thangam Matthew, and uh, two of the Vincentian houses shall be remembered. One is in Mettingen, in Germany, all the parishes, and the uh, second is in uh, Mukhanur, Vincentian house, where all the elderly fathers are staying. we shall pray for all these intention kindly close our eyes let us ask sorry for all the failures of our life i confess to, to almighty, almighty god, god and to you my brothers and sisters that i have greatly sinned in my thoughts and in my words in what i have done and in what i have failed to through my fault through my fault through my most grievous fault therefore i ask the blessed mary the virgin, virgin all the angels and saints and all your brothers and sisters to pray for me to the lord our god may almighty god have mercy on us forgive us our sins and bring us to everlasting life amen
Let us pray. May your grace, O Lord, we pray, at all times go before us and follow after. Make us always determined to carry out good works through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever. And ever. Amen. First reading. A reading from the prophet Isaiah. On this mountain, the Lord of hosts will prepare for all people. A banquet of rich food, a banquet of fine wines, of food rich and juicy, of fine strained wines. On this mountain, he will remove the morning veil covering all peoples and the shroud enriping all nations. He will destroy death forever. The Lord will wipe away the tears from every cheek. He will take away his people's shame everywhere on earth for the lord has said so that day it will be said see this is our god in whom he hoped for salvation the lord is the one in whom we hoped we exult and we rejoice that he has saved us for the hand of the lord rests on this mountain the word of the Lord. Thanks be to God.
Uh, reading from the letter of St. Paul to the Philippians, chapter 4, verses 12 to 14, 19 to 20. I know what it is to be in one and what it is to have plenty. I am trained for both to be hungry or satisfied, to have much or little. I can do all things in him who strengthens me. However, you did right in sharing my trials. God himself will provide you with everything you need according to his righteous. And so you his generosity in Christ Jesus. Glory to God, our Father, forever and ever. Amen. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Please turn for the gospel. of the world, says the Lord. He who follows me will have the light of life. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to St. Matthew. Glory to you, O Lord. Jesus went on speaking to them in parables. The kingdom of heaven, he said, is like this. A king celebrated the wedding of his son. He sent his servants to call the invited guests to the wedding feast but the guests refused to come. Next, he sent other servants, ordering them to say to the invited guests, I have prepared a banquet. My oxen and fattened calves are slaughtered, and now everything is ready. Come then to the wedding feast. But they paid no attention and went away, some to their fields and others to their work, while the rest seized the servants of the king insulted them and killed them. The king became angry. He sent his troops to destroy those martyrs and burn the city. Then he said to his servants, The wedding feast is ready, but the invited guests are not worthy. Go then to the crossroads and invite everyone you find to the wedding feast. The servants went out at once into the streets and gathered everyone they found good and bad alike, so that the hall was filled with guests. The king came in to see those who were at table, and he noticed a man not wearing the wedding garment. So he said to him, Friend, how did you get in without the wedding garment? But the man kept silent. So the king said to his servants, Bind his hands and feet, and throw him into the dark, where there is weeping and gnashing of teeth. Know then that many are called, but few are chosen. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise you, Lord Jesus Christ. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. 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 Good morning. Good morning, Good morning, fathers. My dear sisters and brothers, today, a beautiful and inspiring parable our church is giving for our reflection. That is Gospel of <coughs> Matthew. 
chapter 22 verses 1 to 14 we see there there was a king who arranged a grand wedding party of his of his son on that particular day as per the custom he sent his servants to inform those invited guests but those invited guests they were telling many excuses one want to go to their field other for the business another had some family matters still more people this king sent almost the same response he got more than that those servants they mistreated they stoned and they even killed hearing the news of this particular behavior of the invited guest king was so furious he killed and destroyed those cities and at the end the king was telling to the servants now those who are invited are unworthy therefore you go to the villages main streets whomever you meet please bring them to the hall and at the end the king came to meet the guest guest new guest he was so happy but among the guest there was one who was not wearing wedding garment he asked he was not responding and he commanded and ordered his troops soldiers to bind and throw him out of the banquet hall and where there will be weeping and gnashing of teeth praise the lord praise, praise the lord. lord hallelujah hallelujah so my friends this is the the content of today's parable and as we go through this particular parable there are three special points just for our reflection let us stay the first one wedding wedding is a moment of celebration every family wedding marriage and the invited guest are they are invited to partake in the joy and happiness of that particular family and in a symbolic way in today's gospel it is written here the king represents heavenly father son represents jesus christ we read in the book of revelation about the wedding of the lamb and uh, here as we come back to the parable wedding is a moment of celebration and our spiritual life is an invitation to celebrate with jesus spiritual life is not to be called to be gloomy to be sad to be disturbed to be so serious many are mistaken many think that spiritual life means we shall not mingle with others we have to be extraordinary serious we shall not no that uh, talk with others then our spiritual life will be spoiled so we have to be show an extraordinary seriousness on our face praise the lord praise the lord hallelujah hallelujah we read the letter of saint paul to philippians chapter 4 verses 4 rejoice rejoice again i say to you you rejoice in the lord rejoice rejoice again i say to you you rejoice in the lord is an invitation to be happy 
again letter of saint paul to thessalonians first thessalonians chapter 5 verses 16 it goes like this rejoice always book of psalms chapter 33 verses 21 we read he rejoiced in the lord because he trusted in him praise the lord praise the lord hallelujah hallelujah the word rejoice is been repeated 258 times in the holy bible why this many times it is been repeated because it is an invitation to be happy happy and cheerful with the lord this cheerfulness this happiness has to be given to others whomever is meeting us praise the lord praise the lord hallelujah 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 even in the midst of the sufferings even in the negative experiences a true believer and a true follower he or she she will show this smiling face for example in the life of saint alfonso we see even though there were many problem for her physical pain and sickness and mental torture from the community and from others many other problems as the sister was going through and the people were not able to identify there is this many problems in her this many sickness this many problems and pains and she was always a cheerful sister a smiling sister praise the lord praise the lord hallelujah hallelujah i remember i met uh, an auntie when i was in the previous retreat center she was a staff nurse but she was always coming and helping our center and in her own way very cheerful very helping and uh, we never will feel there is a problem in her house later i came to know there was a serious problem in the family her husband is very sickly suffering from a kidney problem both the kidneys are in failure going through dialysis every day in a week one day i asked her didi how it is possible for you your face never tells that you are going through this many problems then she was responding father for me every day in the morning before going to the uh, going to the hospital i go to the church for the holy eucharist and every day every night me together with the husband and children we have family prayer these two really helps and jesus is strengthening me jesus is there with me then why should i have to cry even if i cry my problem will not be solved therefore i have full trust in the lord praise the lord praise the lord hallelujah hallelujah i take your attention to the verses of this aunty see here this aunty was considering even though the problem is there but her approach is totally different she trusting and trusted in the lord therefore she was just passing this positive energy this smile this cheerfulness to whomever is meeting her praise the lord praise the lord this is what the lord really intended wedding banquet every one you and i we are invited to partake and to participate in this happiness of the lord joy of the lord praise the lord praise the lord hallelujah hallelujah second point as we just uh, go through this passage we reflect on those people those who are invited guest but they later became unworthy invited 
those against what was the failure with them they failed to give priority to what they are supposed to give the priority fail to give priority that was a failure from their side what they did was good considering about their family that is something good working in the field is good doing business is good but a follower of the lord is invited not to be satisfied just by doing good you and i we are invited not just to be satisfied by doing good what we do is good for example the case of martha and mary working in the kitchen is good but according to the lord more important is to be in the presence of the lord mary opted the better parts praise the lord praise the lord we always fails to give priority that is the main problem my dear friends today the word set your priority is a very important for the success in our life anyone who speaks about the personality development they teach set your priority that is most important if a student wish to get or wanted to get a good result then the teacher used to say set your priority children and uh, those subjects which is which you feel more weak you have to give importance so that you will get a good result set your priority the word set your priority is very important for the success of any life if that is a case in our spiritual life one of the most important is set our priorities where you give priority where our whole life will be focused our focus must be on jesus for this particular group this invited guest they failed they were tempted to go to, for business they were tempted to go for another matters and giving less important to to the wedding banquet what happens today we give in our failure we can say we give more importance to that which is must be less important thing we give more important to there we focus there and we spend our energy we spend our time and uh, likewise we are in failure praise the lord praise the lord hallelujah hallelujah so today's gospel is a time make a refocus set again our priorities on jesus and lastly once we come to this parable at the end the king the king appeared there those people among them there were good and bad they were all there and among them one was not wearing wedding garment and the king was asking how did you enter here without having wedding garment and as we read this passage as for any normal reader ordinary reader they have a con- confusions because those street children or street boys those people the poor people they may not be having one more dress to carry but the tradition of jewish people must be read there according to the tradition that the wedding garment is supplied freely at the entrance they have to just to wear just to carry that's all but here this particular person he was taking the things for granted oh even if not wearing the garment what is there carelessness carelessness and taking things for granted is always a danger for the spiritual life we all sometimes think that oh if i go there what is the problem 
if i talk to them what is the problem if i make a friends with them what is the problem and we take things for granted out of carelessness we go and at the end we are in a danger praise the lord ിറ്റീസ് god is our center then all things will be moving around and third wedding garment god never consider will take seriously of our past life you may not be having a proper wedding garment in the past but a free wedding garment is supplied today we just wanted to wear that is our holiness that is our goodness mercy love care helping hands let us be let us be as we are freely invited wear such garments and be with the lord close our eyes thank you lord for your message give us the grace lord to celebrate our spiritual life with you many a times we are not able to celebrate lord we give the negative energy our sadness to others lord give the grace we may be always cheerful happy with you even there is a negative things happens in our life give lord the grace to give priority to you lord we may be able to wear that white garment as you expect from us the holiness kindness mercy love we make this prayer through christ our lord amen the name of the father and of the son and of the holy spirit amen, amen. <coughs> please stand up let us proclaim our faith i believe in god the father almighty creator of heaven and earth and in jesus christ his only son our lord who was conceived by the holy spirit born of the virgin mary suffered under pontius pilate was crucified died and was buried he descended into hell on the third day he rose again from the dead he ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of God the Father Almighty. From there he will come to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of sins, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and the life everlasting. Amen. My dear brothers and sisters, we are nourished at the two-fold table of the Word and Sacrament. Having listened to his word, we make our petitions to God, our Father, and pray. Lord, hear our prayer. Lord, hear our prayer. For the church, that she may be universal sacrament of salvation for all peoples, we pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. For the world, for victims of violence, political unrest, accidents, natural disaster and those caught in terrorist attacks we pray to the lord lord, lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer for us those 
we who participate in the Holy Eucharist may never be found without the garment of grace. We pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. For us, that we may find joy and peace in the sacrament of reconciliation, we pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. For our dear departed ones who need our prayer, that the Lord may grant them the bliss of beholding him face to face in heaven, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Let us offer our own personal intentions in silence. God, our Father, give us the joy of worshipping you in community and deepen our faith in your love through Christ our Lord. Amen. Please be seated. Brethren, that our sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and the glory of his name, for our good and the good of all his holy church. Accept, O Lord, the prayers of your faithful with the sacrificial offerings that through these acts of devotedness, we may pass over to the glory of heaven through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks. Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and eternal God, for in you we live and move and have our being. While in his body, we not only experience the daily effects of your care, but even now possess the pledge of life eternal. For having received the first fruit of the Spirit, through whom you raised us, raised up Jesus from the dead, we hope for an everlasting share in the Paschal mystery. And so with all the angels and pray, and we praise you as in joyful celebration, we acclaim.
you are indeed holy o lord the fount of all holiness may holy therefore this gift we pray by sending down your spirit upon them like the dew fall so that they may become for us the body and blood of our lord jesus christ at the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion he took bread and giving thanks broke it and gave it to his disciples saying take this all of you and eat of it for this is my body which will be given up for you in a similar way when supper was ended he took the chalice and once more giving thanks he gave it to his disciples saying take this all of you and drink from it for this is the chalice of my blood the blood of the new and eternal covenant which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins do this in memory of me the mystery of faith Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity together with Francis, our Pope, and John Mulacher, our Archbishop, and all the bishops and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with her spouse, Blessed Joseph, with the Blessed Apostles, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be coerced to eternal life, and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. through him and with him and in him o god almighty father in the unity of the holy spirit all glory and honor receives forever and ever amen
of the Savior's command, unformed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who, who art in heaven, heaven hallowed be thy name, thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us the our daily bread, and forgive, forgive us our trespasses, as, as we forgive those who trespass against us. us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress. As we avoid the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said in apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity, in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us offer each other the sign of peace. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. May the body and blood of Christ bring us to everlasting life. Amen.
I give to you. Take my time until the fullness. Find in me the trust you see. Take my hands to you, I'll reach All I own and all I do, I give to you. to you join with me be one in my love may our hearts all be as one may we give ourselves completely all I own and all I do I give to you Let us close our eyes for a while. Thank you, our Lord, for all the spiritual blessings he has given to us. Thank you, Lord. Though I am unworthy, you invited for this banquet. We are celebrating with you, Lord. Lord Jesus, you have given free wedding garment for us. Thank you, Jesus, this undeserved favor for me. Thank you, Lord, for your mercy. Give the grace I may be ever grateful to you, Lord. Lord, I offer all my brothers and sisters who are unable to participate in the Holy Eucharist and receive Jesus physically. 
sacramentally. But spiritually they are receiving you, Lord. Bless all of them. They are also participating in your joy in this banquet. Lord, give all the blessings that is needed for them. Let them be always be united with you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. We praise you, Jesus. We adore you, Jesus. Please stand up. When the Lord appears, we shall be like him. For we shall see him as he is. Let us pray. We entreat your majesty most humbly, O Lord, that as you feed us with the nourishment which comes from the most holy body and blood of your Son, so you may make us sharers of his divine nature, who lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. May the Almighty God bless you, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Mass is ended. Go in peace to love and serve the Lord. Thanks be to God. Standing on